everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. It is so cold, it feels like my face is going to fall off. It's so cold today, isn't it, Jess? Yeah, it's We're just going out for lunch. We're going to Nando's. Not very exciting, but um, yeah, whatever. Chips. Okay, so don't judge me when you see what I order at Nando's. I don't really like their salads anymore. They don't do my favourite one. They stopped doing it years ago. I don't really like their burgers or their new burgers. So I always get a selection of sides and they kind of change quite a lot. But last time I was here, I tried just mash and I was like, oh my God, this is so good. So I've got mash, chips, rice and halloumi. Normally I get chips, rice, corn on the top. I've switched it up today. So let me show you what I've ordered. It's so funny. Like I said, don't judge me. This is what a vegetarian has to do at Nando's. Mm. Whereas a regular meat eater can just get whatever. You're going to share this, right? Yes. Right, so I'm home. I've got loads of laundry and like loads of dishes and tidying to do. But I keep trying to track my yodel parcel. Let me just show you. It says the driver is currently two stops away. So as soon as he arrives, I can start wrapping my Christmas presents because I am finally done first off though i need to hang the laundry out to dry and put the second load in and hope that it dries by oh maybe tonight which it won't or tomorrow before i start packing to go home for christmas so i'm gonna quickly go and finish editing my video hang the laundry out to dry wait for my parcel and then i want to start wrapping christmas presents i'm so excited for this okay i've just had a massive package arrive this isn't the one that i was waiting for the one that i was waiting for has also arrived it's from feel unique but that is a christmas present uh this i think is like a hamper fantastic services said they were going to send me like a a hamper as an apology for like all the problems i had with my christmas tree but i need to go and sort my video out because it is like 10 past six so i'm gonna get just to do the unboxing for you guys so you're welcome all right see what i could do <laughs> you can open this up when i go and like upload and schedule my video Okay, here we are. This is the hamper that we just received. I can't trust this guy with anything. He's just filmed like the... Oh, you've unboxed it all as well. But yeah. he um, had his finger over the mic, so <laughs> um, you can't actually hear anything. You're going to have to wrap it all up and do it again. I'm sorry. No way. Here you are. Sure. No, do it. No, do it. Seriously? Yeah, make it look pretty how it was before. Oh, my God. Can't do it. He has a really bad habit of like covering the um, microphone bit on the camera. But this is how you're supposed to hold it, Jazz. Look here on the side that's why it has grit that's because you're holding it towards <laughs> you but if i'm holding it away from you it's different no okay here's the hamper and this actually take two because i realized i was actually covering the camera where the mic is with my thumb and then uh, it didn't work well it just sounded like a mouse anyway here's the hamper so i'm gonna go through it again and that's the bottle of sauvignon blanc and that's a red wine oh let me see if i can zoom in by tapping the screen oops here we are and the brand is Montgras Aura. That's that one. You've got some cake with it. Cake slice. I'm not sure what kind of cake slice it is uh, until I open it. It might be a carrot cake, could be anything. But it looks nice, solid. <laughs> uh, you got a cracker, chocolate pralines. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Praline, pralines, whatever it is. Uh, I'm sure that's what's inside this cracker, giant one. It looks nice. And you've got this chocolate. Well, no, it's not a chocolate. It's Bearfield Bakery Classic Christmas Pudding. Sorry, it keeps going out of focus. I'm just going to have to tap. There we are. So that's, that's what this one looks like. And then you've got another bottle of wine, which is the Poi White wine. It's Montgras Aura, Sauvignon Blanc. And then you've got that one. And you've got the nuts in this little one. Looks nice. Good jar. Selection of nuts. And that's Craving Crunch is what it says on there. And last but not least is the, this bag of biscuits. It says Merry Christmas, traditionally made biscuits. And if I open it with one hand, let me see if I can try. Oops, stuck. And it's some cookies. And they look delicious. All mine. No! <laughs> All of that. And obviously my tea, which didn't come with it, but I'm going to have it anyway. What I want to do is wrap presents. But no, we have to have dinner first, don't we, Jess? No. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love wrapping presents so much. Um, but we are going to make some jacket potatoes for dinner some jacket potatoes, a couple of jacket potatoes for dinner and then we need to pack for Lester because we're leaving tomorrow. You're making a lot of noise while doing the dishes, Jeff. He's doing the dishes and the washing machines on in the background. I'm trying to grab this bag of potatoes 
out of the fridge, which is super heavy. I want to watch a Christmas film tonight and have some Aperol. It's not very Christmassy, but we have a lot of Aperol. Baileys. You're going to want Baileys. I was just going to say you're <laughs> going to want Baileys, aren't you? Yes. Oh. Vanilla Baileys. No, let's say that's a lesson. Let's have Aperol tonight. I can't open a whole bottle of Prosecco for one person. What? You're trying to say we're going to drink a bottle of Prosecco between us. Well, it's better to have it between two and <laughs> one each. What I'm trying to say is like... I'm gonna... Okay, we'll decide what we're going to drink. First off, we I need to I thought you were coming on, uh, you're going to stop bringing up Aperol. Didn't you say that when you let his post? I'll try, it's not going to happen. Also, Chanel was saying to me that I haven't been drunk on like Instagram stories on my vlogs for a very long time. And I'm not saying I want to be drunk. I mean, and I actually haven't had drinks for a long time. Yeah. So, watch this space. Okay, let me wash the potatoes first, put them in the oven, because that'll take about two hours. Ah, oh, don't you just hate when you come into your bedroom and you forget that you've got loads of clothes on the bed that need to be put away because they've been washed. It's very annoying indeed. I've just put the potatoes in the oven. They're going to take forever to cook because they're really big. And while Jas does the dishes, I'm going to start getting my clothes out, ready to pack, because we've got like sliding door wardrobes and we can't both like slide the doors open at the same time and do it so i thought i'd make a start on my clothes and then i will hopefully not have to put the laundry away because i might take the same clothes with me to leicester this is actually gonna take me a very long time because i know that this also means trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear on christmas day boxing day and yeah that's about it <laughs> to be honest Right, so I've done that thing where I basically take everything out of my wardrobe and I think I have far too many clothes but I don't know how many like dressy uppy clothes I need because we're definitely going out on Christmas Eve. I like to dress up on Christmas Day, um, possibly Boxing Day because we're probably going to go to Jess's family's house and like go around to like loads of people's houses and I might be going out tomorrow or Sunday, oh god Sunday as well. I need quite a lot of clothes so I'm going to have to get the big suitcase out. Obviously, I'm just going to be staying at home so I can do laundry and stuff like that. But I need, like, dressy uppy clothes as well as, like, loungewear for the house. Um, I don't really want an outfit repeat. Okay, I'm going to try and figure out what I'm doing and I will be back. <laughs> oh, my God. We finally finished packing. Woohoo! And Jess had a mini wardrobe clear out as well. Well yeah. done. She need to put one jumper back. Basically, out of all the stuff I took out to pack, that's the only thing I'm not packing. How ridiculous. But I still don't feel like I have enough clothes. And there's a couple of things I've just washed, that I've just hung out to dry, actually, that I need to put in here as well. And then it's just toiletry bags, isn't it? Okay, it's been a couple of hours, and I think these potatoes should be done. Yes, dinner's almost ready, Jess. Finally, it is dinner time. I think it's like gone nine o'clock now, hasn't it, Jess? Yep. We're gonna have jacket potato with all the trimmings. We have like salad bits, pickled onions. I love pickled onions. Pickled beetroot, we have some coleslaw. Um, and I'm having cheese and sweet corn. And are you having cheese and beans or cheese and sweet corn? Probably cheese and beans. Beans. So yeah, we're basically having everything <laughs> with our potatoes. It's gonna be so good. I love jacket potato. It's like my favorite thing ever. Where's the pickled onions? Okay, do you wanna grate the cheese, Jeff, while I Heat the beans in the sweet corn up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Da -da -da -da. There we have our potatoes. Oh, we're missing a sprinkle of cheese on top because, you know, I like to do it for good measure. So, there we go. And there we go. Da, 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 da. Oh god, sorry about that. Can't really look. There you go, Jess. Your potato is served. Thanks. Yours doesn't look very pretty. <laughs> Mine doesn't either, really, to be honest. Yes, we're watching Love Actually. Finally, it's the first time in ages. There's one scene in here that makes me so angry. I'm sure you can all guess what it is, but um, <laughs> I still want to watch this because I don't actually remember the movie. <laughs> this is the scene that makes me so angry. CCD. Johnny Mitchell, wow. To continue your emotional 
I have wrapped up the last few presents. Kind of ran out of tags, so I had to use a Sharpie. But oh my God, check this one out. <laughs> How hard is it to wrap something that's round? These are two tins of biscuits for my granddad, but I mean, that is so difficult to wrap, it's terrible. <laughs> but I am done. I took the other presents from the tree and attached these candy canes that I've been saving up to them. So yes, I think I'm just gonna sort the presents out tomorrow because I'm really tired. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna go to sleep soon because tomorrow. <sighs> Sorry, I can't stop yawning. Um, we are literally just gonna tidy the house, pack up the car, empty the car, get the car washed. I want to wash the bed sheets and the towels before we go because we'll be away for a few days and it will take us ages to pack up the car. I don't know if my cousin Serena is gonna come with us tomorrow, but I really hope she does. Unfortunately, Anusha's not allowed to come, so it won't be like last year. There'll be no carpool karaoke, no like. There still will be. I'll be singing, but on my own, <laughs> probably not on camera. But she always brings a Christmas playlist, so it's really sad times. But yeah, anyway, we've got a lot to do tomorrow. And one thing I wanted to just say is after this vlog every other vlog all my last few vlogmas videos may be a little bit late they may not go up at 6 30 p.m or i might post them earlier actually um just as and when i can get wi-fi and like upload videos because as you know the wi-fi at my grand's house is really crap so i may just post them in the morning if they upload and stuff like that anyway that is all i wanted to say i'm going to end this video here take my makeup off and go to bed so thank you so much for watching i will see you tomorrow for day 22